Lindsay, 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 we return to the saddest political figure in American politics, Lindsey Graham. Someone who, when you, when you watch him try to fake it, which we know he's faking it based on his flip-flops politically, it's painful and it's sad because he really is an example of someone, pardon the phrase, who has sold his soul to the devil um, <laughs> in his service of Trump. But here he is responding to the fact that campaign ads have been showing that Trump was very supportive of North Carolina gubernatorial candidate for the Republican Party, Mark Robinson. Mark Robinson, in his run for governor and before, has said so many horrible, terrible, awful, vile, disgusting, disturbing, unbelievable, inconceivable things. But what really did, uh, or what really was too much, crossed the line for Trump, in his association with Mark Robinson is, of course, the bombshell report that Robinson described himself on a porn site as a black Nazi, as someone who wanted slavery to come back, as someone who fantasizes about when he was 14 peeping in on the locker rooms of females. And... Uh, with that being said, Lindsey Graham's upset that people are trying to say this is somehow indicative of Trump's fault. And, and on Sean Hannity, both of them sort of had a collective panic session over the fact that North Carolina just may have been flipped to Harris because of the MAGA controversy with Mark Robinson. Here it is. Actually, her preacher. But the point is that when somebody says something, and I've, I have a relationship with them. I don't own all of that. The reason we're not running these ads is that there would be a firestorm that is unfair. It would be unfair to say that but somebody you wrote a letter about, or even your own pastor, you own every stupid thing they did. We'd be crucified politically if we did that. That's literally their campaign in North Carolina, is trying to make people believe that Donald Trump somehow is involved with, Mar uh, with the Robinson guy Donald Trump knew nothing. <laughs> Sorry, let's go back. Oh, I forgot about that. That he's somehow involved with Mark, I mean, the Robinson guy. Let's not spend, you know, whoever that is in, in North Carolina. I can't remember his name, even though I just said it. We'll be right back to the video just really quickly. If you're not already, I would appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. We are really close to 1 million subscribers. You can help us get there. Easy, free way. And then we do have merch at LukeBeasleyMerch.com with Harris as a promo code. You can get free shipping. Super cool election theme merch. Check it out. Back to the video. Uh, with the Robinson guy. Donald Trump knew nothing about this. I knew nothing about it. They're trying to guilt by association. He's if been you're a Republican, governor you own Mark Robinson. For three years. And I'd never heard anything remotely like this. The guy's like lieutenant this, governor for three years. This CNN yeah. report came out on the day before uh, you could replace somebody about five o'clock in the afternoon. Now, whether it's true or not, yeah. I don't know. But Robinson needs to give us something to hang our head on if it's not true, because if it is true, he's unfit. But I'm not going to sit by and watch Donald Trump be smeared yet again. This is literally guilt yeah. by association. It needs to stop. Well, either the, stop it or play the same game. All right, let me tell you yeah, about it. Yeah, today. run a bunch of ads saying, what do you think about, uh, you mm -hmm. know, having a preacher who celebrated October the 7th attack on Israel is a good thing. What do you think about that? That's terrible, is what I think about that. What does that have to do with Mark Robinson? Uh, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here's the argument from Lindsay, okay? You heard it there, but... I wish I could do the Seth Meyers imitation of Lindsey Graham, but I couldn't nail it. It would just come off as, as insensitive. But uh, Mamma, <laughs> Mamma, they're trying to smear Trump again. You know, first of all, I just I, I don't know why with Lindsey Graham, it, he just he oozes pitiful. It just it all stop it. Lindsay, stop. We know what you actually think of Trump. Stop acting like you love him. It's so weird. It's so weird. But that aside, 
We've heard this from a lot of people. Oh, what? why are you blaming Trump for loving Mark Robinson? For saying that Mark Robinson's MLK on steroids? Fantastic guy. He didn't know about this CNN report, which, by the way, is probably fake news, but I, <laughs> but I'm still going to distance myself from Mark Robinson, but it's probably fake news, but it's really, really bad. So, so let's just uh, see how things play out. And I even saw Shady Vant say, you know, with some of these things, you have to let it play out in the court of public opinion. So you're admitting you're just going to wait to see how the public reacts before deciding if you distance yourself or not, if you call it fake news or not. How about you look at the very well-sourced reporting and condemn him? But... You can't blame Trump as the argument. He didn't know. Okay. He didn't know specifically, you're correct, that Robinson described himself as a black Nazi. He didn't know specifically that Robinson espouses just just aggressively vile anti-trans rhetoric while talking about on these forums how much he likes transgender porn. You didn't know that he talked about wanting slaves of his own. But you did know that he has a history of mocking school shooting survivors, advocating for abortion bans without exceptions for rape or incest, disparaging the civil rights movement, as well as some of these clips that we'll go through. They were called Republicans, and they are the reason America great again. The one where women couldn't vote, or black people. Wait, let me start this clip over. That was just all messed up. Here we go. This idiotic guy was on stage with Candace Owens a few days ago and asked her, what America are we going back to to make America great again? The one where women couldn't vote or black people were swinging from cheap trees. I would say to him if I was standing in front of him, I absolutely want to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. Do you know why? Because in those days, we had people who fought for real social change, and they were called Republicans. And they are the reason why women can vote today. Those days that he talked about when black folks were swinging from trees, guess who it was out there fighting to bring that to an end, to bring Jim Crow to an end? It was Republicans. So that's the America we want to bring back. Okay, but also, who signed the Civil Rights Act into law, Mark? And also, what's that political realignment thing that happened too? And I, I don't know. I don't like dishonestly clipping people because I don't like dishonesty, right? So I always play for you the full context. It gets cut off right after he, most of the time when I see this clip, it's cut off right after he says, I'd absolutely love to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. I included for you his reasoning, which is because then, because back then, Republicans, were advocating for real change so that's why I would want to go back there because it but that's not the worst thing like him casting doubt on the holocaust uh, murders but it just the logic of it really baffles me what is he what is he saying he wants to go back to where women couldn't vote and black people were being more oppressed so that Republicans could be advocating for real social change. It doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. And of course, we, uh, we talked about this doozy as he's ranting about the evil left. He says this. Some liberal somewhere is going to say that sounds awful. Too bad. Get mad at me if you want to. Some folks need killing. It's time for somebody to say it. Some folks need killing. And uh, you have all sorts of things. I, I, I don't, this is going to take too long, but he said abortion is for women who, quote, weren't responsible enough to keep their skirt down or their pants up. Okay. And you have just stuff like this. You know, I ain't supposed to say this, but I'm going to say it. I don't care whether you just got pregnant. I don't care if you're 
24 hours pregnant, I don't care if you're 24 weeks pregnant, I don't care. If you kill that youngin', it's murder. You got blood on your hands. And then you have obsessions like this, despite him being on porn forums saying he was really into transgender porn. And I could already see WRL out there. They got their licking their pencils right now, trying to write fear and they can't. Get every word of this here. Get every word of this. You can go to the doctor and get cut up. You can go down to the dress shop and get made up. You can go down there and get drugged up. But at the end of the day, you were just a drugged up, dressed up, made up, cut up, man or woman. You ain't changed what God put in you, that DNA. <laughs> okay, Who, who's saying it changes your DNA? Nobody. But that, oh gosh, okay, sorry, continue. You can't transcend God's creation. I don't care how hard you try. The transgender movement in this country, if there's a movement in this country that is demonic, and that is full of anti the spirit of antichrist. It is the transgender movement. I wish as he's standing in front of a, a podium that says Jesus is Lord. I wish I could read out to you some of the things he was posting on this. But it's just, it's so vulgar. I want to be able to on YouTube probably. Um I can't, I can't, but the first line, I guess I can. Have me another hot morning with my wife's sister. She brought her laptop this time, dot, dot, dot. I'll stop there, but people use, they exploit religions like Christianity. That's what Robinson's doing. He's trying to exploit this faith. And... And using it for hate. That's what he's doing. When he goes up, he wants to rant about how you can... About how trans people are demonic or the trans movement's demonic. When he hasn't even started, he's prioritizing ranting about other people before starting on himself doing things that don't align with the beliefs that he says justify the hate that he's espousing. He fantasizes about looking at girls' locker room showers through a hole as people are showering. Not fantasizes. He fantasizes about a memory that he developed because he did that when he was 14. And, and he's the, the source that should be delivering a message in front of the Jesus is Lord podium. The priority has become for too many the demonization of other people instead of number one, fixing yourself by your own standards and by everyone's standards on some of the stuff Mark Roberts is talking about. The black Nazi is standing in front of this church and, and before just going out there and loving and serving people. Can you do that a little first before focusing so much on governing other people's lives? There's no reason anybody anywhere in America should be telling any child about transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. Filth. A kid talks about their gay parents and they're espousing filth. And of course this. Getting ready to get in trouble. Called to be led by men. God sent women out when he was supposed to do, when they had to do that thing. But when it was time to face down Goliath, sent David. Not Devita, David. Stop picking these leaders, MAGA. All of the stuff we went through has been around for a very long time. And there's more. And you pick these individuals 
and then you're shocked when another story comes out that he likes to call himself a black Nazi. Apparently, he has little Nazi figurines that he likes. Which is insane. I don't like making the, which is crazy because he's black point, because I think we should just, it's crazy if you're anyone <laughs> to say that you're a Nazi. But of course, there's an added detail to him, to him not understanding how horrific that governance would be for him. But regardless, fully disqualifying but maga acts like as lindsey graham did there it's so it's so unfair it's so unfair they're saying mark robinson and trump are are buddy buddy because trump didn't know he did know he knew enough the type of hate bigotry and crazy that mark robinson has espoused is enough to not endorse him but he's been endorsed and so yeah you do have to stand by that you do. And we are going to run ads about it. Now, if Trump comes out and fully denounces Mark Robinson, then there's a different story. But he's not doing that. Because he doesn't want to admit that he's wrong. Stop picking these people, MAGA. Gah. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Support the show by clicking the join button below. That gives you the members-only bonus show.